Dear Glock. What, what, what is a Glock? Oh my goodness! Oh, hey! How are you? <laughs> you just happen to be holding a gun right now. This is my new toy. I, uh, I bought this specifically for this shoot. Um, well, not... I mean, okay, yeah, I bought it specifically for this shoot. But for feature shoots as well. Yeah, I mean, right? I... I've always wanted a gas blowback gun, right? And uh, and there it is. I finally decided. You know what? This project is so cool. Uh, it deserves to have a really nice prop. So there it is. We have already shot once with this gun, and we'll likely shoot with it some more. Wow! You're Look, it's a first-person shooter. Shoot, Jimmy! Shoot! I don't want to. I don't want to upset people. Actually, here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually. This is gonna be the first. I'm gonna hand you the camera. Oh my! Well, don't block the microphone. It's right there. I will try not to. But you know, I'm you're strapped hand... to the camera, right? Sorry. There. Yep. There you go. See, he was strapped to the camera. See, I'm gonna hand you the camera because I mean, I want you to shoot me saying something. So I want to say something to the audience, and then I want you to say something to the audience, which is important. And yeah. that's that thing you told me today that we're gonna correct. Thing that I said. Yes, absolutely. I know first, what you're talking I'm about. First, I'm gonna talk about this, and see, what you notice wonderful wonderful audience how are you by the way is that we are outside we are in public at a friend's house with a gun and would you mind if i fired this go ahead see we have permission to do this but that's a pretty loud weapon now it, it's it's not as loud as an actual gun per se would be but it's loud enough that if someone were driving by in their car and heard that and they saw me shooting somebody or firing the weapon that we would get in trouble so there's two things that you need to remember about doing stuff when you're on site and you're firing a gun, especially outside. Number one, if you're in a place that you don't know the people around you, notify the police. Always notify them because firing a gun can be, it's incredible, it's illegal. Having this, even though it, yeah, it's a Yeah, just carrying it, weapon, actually. Yeah, just carrying this right now is illegal. But having permission, considering we're on private property and the fact that the, you know, that we would notify the police if we weren't on private property where we know everybody around us, then obviously you have to notify the authorities. If we were in a park or something, we would need permission, we'd need park permits and stuff like that, which are next to impossible to get. But if you're going to shoot, make sure you have permission and make sure you've notified the authorities that you're firing what appears to be a weapon on site. Second of all, uh, well, not second of all, but the reason that we're able to do it around here is because we notified the neighbors. We went around and told most of the people that we knew were outside or that are able to hear us that we'd be firing a gun and not to be alarmed and everybody's aware. So that's what we do. So just for anybody who ever wants to do, because I know a lot of people, especially, you know, people right out of high school and stuff, they want to do series with guns and stuff. Even if you're firing a squirt gun, which you spray paint black, it is illegal to not have a tip on the yeah. Now this specifically, what is this? This is a an airsoft gun? It's yeah. an airsoft gun. That's exactly yeah. right. Designed to fire plastic BBs. Right. So yeah, I'm going to hand this back to you and I'm going to trade you because I know that Absolutely. you have something to say as well. But just to let I you guys do. know, always make sure that you have permission and always make sure that you're not going to get arrested on a film set because as a producer, it's your job to keep everybody safe and everybody out of prison. So one more thing that we wanted to talk about in today's vlog, why don't you go right ahead and tell them. Yeah, this is where I keep the gun, by the way, when we're not shooting with it. And every, yes. every time between takes, it went right back in the box. So exactly. We're not messing with it. Exactly. Um, the other thing I was going to tell the, the vlog, I guess, your audience, um, I happened to notice something uh, in the last MASH vlog you did, actually the last two, is that you called it production day two and then production day three. Right. And I was just uh, suggesting that perhaps days that we're not shooting aren't real production days. So just, I don't know, to keep things a little bit more professional, I guess, I like to say that the shooting days are the production days. So today, since we're shooting, is technically production day two. So even though you're watching this and this is smash vlog four, I guess, of production, Five. Okay. Oh, there's lots of six. Five. Ten. Five. Okay. <laughs> However many. Five. <laughs> this is Smash Vlog Five. Um, you can call them behind the scenes five, for instance. Um, at least that's my recommendation because those days where we're not actually shooting aren't real production days. I mean, they are important in the grand scheme of production. Writing, producing, um, yeah, uh, all that stuff. Uh, editing, doing work in After Effects, doing work in Premiere. It's important that we keep that stuff, you know, in the vlogs and that we say the behind the scenes stuff, but they're not real production days. So that's, that's basically the point I'm trying to make is that if we say this is production day two, that means it's shooting day two. So I'll just make sure that I say from now on, like there, it's production vlog two or vlog five. There you go. But good. So good information. So two really neat things for a vlog. That's actual information. True. We didn't get to True. shoot. We didn't get to shoot with Mikkel and that sucks. Yeah, we had uh, we had another cast member who we just wrapped. He, he had uh, he had a shoot that was all of about what? Uh, half an hour long? Yeah, I think he was on set for half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. We got him in, got him out. We only had probably about five or six lines for him total. Yeah. But that's I mean, that's our but he's still style. crucial. He's we still are, a crucial absolutely. element. To this, very, to this very piece. important actor, but just to be able to bring somebody onto the set and say, okay, hey, here's what you have to do. This is where you have to stand. These are the lines you have to give. Um, to have that guy 
prepped, ready to have the script that we can hand them. We have like sides available. Um, you know, here, I don't know if, if you'll be able to read this, but this is basically what we're using to shoot with. They're miniature. Oh, they don't scripts. show them the scripts. <laughs> Why are we showing them the scripts? Uh, we have to wrap this up, and I do remember that we have to show them that yeah. that thing that's on your. We'll have to show them that for tomorrow's vlog, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. But tomorrow we have a we have a big day of shooting tomorrow. Huge, huge day. Of that's shooting That's the biggest tomorrow. day of shooting so far. Yeah, it will. So. And it may actually, to be honest, it might turn out to be the biggest day of shooting that we do for this True. project. True. Uh, we're doing two huge scenes. Yeah. Um, it what? How many pages? It, it doesn't. Lots. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, like Twelve yeah. or something. To, 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 <laughs> Let's not to worry put it about in it. Perspective: Feature films usually shoot about three to four pages a day. Yeah. We sh we're shooting about twelve pages tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it should. It'll be fun. Um, it will. I think we can do it though. I, I. I think we are fast enough. I agree. I think we will be. Anyways, uh, we've got to wrap it up because this vlog is already one of the longest I've ever done. Clap your thumbs if you believe. Uh, all kinds of love. Uh, welcome to production vlog number five. 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 <laughs> Anyways, like I said, lots of love. Jimmy Smash.